Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the attempted execute of no execute memory blue screen you might be experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should definitely be uh, an annoying issue, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So the first thing I would actually suggest would be to open up the start menu, and want to type in device manager. One of the best managers should come back with device manager. Just want to left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the network adapter section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. And now you want to update your connections under here, so in my case I'm going to update my first one here, so I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to left click on update driver. You don't want to search automatically for updated driver software. If it doesn't find anything, I would suggest going online and seeing, just typing in whatever your connection type is up at the top right here. Go ahead online, see if you can find it, and then download the latest driver for that, because sometimes Windows doesn't actually locate the most up-to-date one through the software. So if I close out of here, Another thing I would suggest would be to close out of this, and then I'm going to open up the start menu again, type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. One of the best managers should say Windows Memory Diagnostic right above Desktop App. Just want to left click on that one time. So now it's going to say check your computer for memory prompts. Memory prompts can cause your computer to lose some information or stop working. You want to close out of any open programs or applications you have, and then left click on Restore Now and check for prompts, which is recommended. Save your work and close any open programs before restarting, so I'm going to left click on that.
Okay, so it looks like we're good to go. So hopefully one of these methods I went through was able to help solve the problem for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.